What if I told you that the biggest barrier between classical and quantum computing just crumbled? That scientists have created a material that could fit 25 million quantum components on a single chip the size of your thumbnail. And that this breakthrough might shrink the timeline for practical quantum computers by years, maybe decades. This is not some distant future prediction. This happened last week. And the implications are staggering. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than firsthand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage in our online school, the AI R&D Labs. Learn more at firstmovers.ai slash labs. Here's what you need to understand. Quantum computers have been trapped in a cage of their own making. Uh, they operate at temperatures colder than outer space. Uh, they are massive, requiring entire rooms of cooling equipment. And they are fragile, so unbelievably fragile, that the slightest vibration, the tiniest electromagnetic interference, can cause them to lose their quantum state in what scientists call decoherence. But the real problem? They could not integrate with our existing trillion dollar semiconductor infrastructure. Classical computers speak silicon. Quantum computers spoke something else entirely. It is like trying to build a highway system where cars and quantum vehicles need completely different roads until now. Scientists at New York University and the University of Queensland just did something that was theoretically proposed 60 years ago, but dismissed as physically impossible. They took germanium, a semiconductor similar to silicon, and they did not just sprinkle in a superconducting material. They replaced one in every eight atoms with gallium, creating an entirely new superconducting phase. Think about that. One in eight atoms. That is not doping. That is transformation. They used a technique called molecular beam epitaxy, building the crystal layer by layer, atom by atom. And they achieved something extraordinary, a material that superconducts at 3.5 Kelvin, but still interfaces perfectly with regular semiconductors. Here is why this matters. They can now stack these layers. Classical computing on one layer, quantum computing on the next. Classical, quantum, classical, quantum. All on the same chip. 25 million Josephson junctions on a single two inch wafer. Each one could be a qubit. Each one could be a sensor. Each one could be a computational unit that bridges both worlds. But here is what really keeps me up at night. While American scientists were making this breakthrough, Chinese physicist Pan Jianwei, called the father of Quantum by Nature Journal, just announced something equally profound. His team created what they are calling a quantum Lego block using their Zhu Chongzhi 2 processor. They have simulated an exotic new state of matter where quantum effects are locked into the corners of a material, protected by what they call quantum armor against errors and noise. This is the first experimental realization of non-equilibrium, higher order topological phases. Translation, they have found a way to make quantum information that does not easily break down. The quantum computing race is not just heating up, it is entering hyperdrive. Remember those predictions about practical quantum computers being decades away? Renoir <laughs> scratch them. Dr. Javad Shabani, the New York University professor leading this semiconductor work, said something crucial. You have a trillion dollar silicon germanium infrastructure that now can use superconductivity as a new item in their toolbox. That may really help solid state quantum computing. The timeline could really shrink. The timeline could really shrink. Well, let me connect the dots for you. 
In 2025, we are seeing autonomous AI agents that can execute entire workflows. In 2026, we are expecting humanoid robots to enter the physical workforce. And by 2027, many experts predict we will hit artificial superintelligence. Now add practical quantum computing into that mix. Add the ability to solve problems that would take classical supercomputers thousands of years to crack. Add drug discovery that happens in days instead of decades. Add materials, science breakthroughs that could revolutionize energy storage, transmission, and generation. This is not three separate technological revolutions. This is one massive convergence happening simultaneously. Here is what most people miss about this semiconductor breakthrough. It is not just about quantum computing becoming more powerful. It is about quantum and classical computing becoming seamless. Today's quantum computers are like isolated laboratories. You have to carefully prepare information, send it into the quantum realm, extract the answer and translate it back. It is slow. It is cumbersome. It is prone to errors. But imagine a chip where classical processors handle the everyday computations, routing problems to quantum components only when needed, then seamlessly integrating the results back. No translation layer, no bottleneck, no isolation. That is hybrid computing. And this semiconductor breakthrough makes it possible. The researchers noted something fascinating. The improved crystallinity in these materials might help qubits become more robust against decoherence. The very structure that allows integration might also solve one of quantum computing's biggest problems. Let us talk about what this means in practical terms. Drug discovery that currently takes 10 to 15 years and billions of dollars. Quantum classical hybrid systems could simulate molecular interactions with such precision that we identify promising drug candidates in, in weeks. Climate modeling that requires massive supercomputer clusters. Hybrid quantum systems could run simulations of atmospheric chemistry and ocean currents with unprecedented accuracy, giving us better forecasting and better solutions. Artificial intelligence that is already transforming every industry. Add quantum computing to the mix, and you are talking about AI that can explore solution spaces that are literally impossible for classical systems to navigate. Financial modeling, cryptography, material science, traffic optimization, supply chain management. Every field that deals with complex optimization problems is about to get supercharged. But here is the part that should genuinely concern you. Whoever masters this technology first does not just get a competitive advantage. They get a civilization level advantage. Current encryption standards that protect everything from your bank account to national security secrets. Quantum computers will break them like wet tissue paper. AI systems that are already raising concerns about alignment and control? Add quantum computing and you are talking about systems that can explore strategies and solutions that humans literally cannot comprehend. The gap between quantum haves and have-nots will not be measured in productivity. It will be measured in centuries of technological capability. This is why I keep coming back to this point. Like we are not living through separate technological revolutions. Like we are living through one massive phase transition in human capability. AI agents are already automating knowledge work. Humanoid robots are entering the physical world. Quantum computing is becoming practical. And breakthroughs like this semiconductor advance are accelerating every timeline simultaneously. The scientists who first proposed this approach 60 years ago thought it was impossible. The researchers who tried to make it work in the 2000s gave up. And now, in 2024, multiple teams across multiple countries are achieving breakthroughs that were pure science fiction just years ago. 
This is what exponential progress looks like. Not steady, not predictable, but sudden, shocking, overwhelming. So here is my question for you. Are you positioning yourself to thrive in this world? Because the future is not coming in some distant tomorrow. It is already here. It is just not evenly distributed yet. The companies integrating AI agents today will be the ones ready to leverage quantum computing tomorrow. The individuals learning to work alongside AI now will be the ones who can direct quantum enhanced systems later. The nations investing in quantum research today will set the rules for the quantum age tomorrow. This is not about predicting the future. This is about building it. This is about being a first mover in the most consequential technological transition in human history. I believe the future will be owned by those brave enough to be the first movers. The ones willing to adapt, pivot, and build better futures that include AI brains and quantum computing and technologies we have not even imagined yet. If your company is not moving first in this direction, it will be left behind. The semiconductor breakthrough I shared with you today, that is not the end of the story. That is the beginning. Multiple research teams, multiple countries, multiple approaches, all converging on the same goal, making quantum computing practical, accessible, and transformative. And it is happening faster than anyone predicted. I would love for you to hit subscribe so my digital clone can keep you ahead of these changes. Do not miss out. Let us embrace this age of intelligence and abundance together. Want to be the winner of the AI age and a first mover? Transform your skills with real AI knowledge today in our AI R and D labs. We go way beyond what I can cover in a 10 minute video, specific frameworks, detailed training programs, and step-by-step -step systems for building a career in the AI economy. The AI revolution is creating the biggest job market transformation in history. The question isn't whether this will happen, it's already happening. Will you be positioned to benefit from it? Inside the labs, learn the exact systems my team and I are implementing right now that are delivering massive results for real businesses, including our own marketing at First Movers. Start your journey by walking through a customized pathway powered by AI. For a fraction of the price of what this level of coaching and live training should go for, I'm giving it all to you. Join us inside and learn more about the labs at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs.